know that he was... For theater company owner Michael Herring, the Franklinton neighborhood is a set that's constantly changing. You can't swing a dead cat without hitting some new residential, uh, multi-use, uh, you know, retail residential complex. Since 2016, Michael and his Red Herring Theater troupe have put on monthly productions at the Franklinton Playhouse. They pride themselves on innovative shows, impressive set designs, and a pay-what-you-can ticket system that ensures everyone can catch a show. This is art that's accessible to anybody in Columbus. And sometimes, you know, the stuff going on at the big theaters downtown is well outside the price range of a lot of Columbus residents. But the theater is meeting an unexpected curtain close next month. After being priced out of the neighborhood, Herring says the landlord upped the rent by a third to reflect market value. So now Red Herring is more of a canary in a coal mine. They have to leave the building and all of the money they've invested in repairs and maintenance. We've invested since 2016 a total of uh, just over uh, $58,000. Not including your rent? Not including rent. No, that's, that's yeah, no, that was something completely separate. I mean, and, and, so uh, these are just infrastructural improvements? Capital, sunk. all capital expenditures uh, and capital expenditures and maintenance. We've been responsible for uh, pretty much, yeah, everything. You know, the, the, the roof, the walls, the floor, the plumbing. While investors look to rake in big bucks with restaurants, office, and residential spaces, the irony is they're forcing out the very uh, artists that make up this see. arts district. <laughs> I have a whole army of folks that have invested blood, time, money, sweat, uh, grief, joy, you know, in, in, in this space over the last <laughs> three years. So it's for their efforts that I really feel bad about, you know. This is what I do. I make theater. You know, it's it's wired in my DNA. But folks who've really stuck with me and, and shared my vision and really have given their heart and soul to it, those are the ones that you know I really feel bad for. So, one of those in Herring's army is local comedian Pat Deering. This weekend, he's putting on a farewell comedy festival to raise money for the troupe to find a new space. Franklinton Playhouse has been really supportive of the comedy scene in Columbus. While Red Herring's third act is still unknown, Michael hopes the city will look beyond brick and mortar investment and invest in the people that make Columbus a player on the national stage. Molly Martinez, Spectrum News.